Wait. Me, I just want to ask a simple question. Because some people say, "Sa sovereign, a a correct representation of the issues on the ground." And I said, "And yet, the representation of the issues on the ground, it is just somebody's, um, the figment of somebody's imagination." And uh, or the ISA are the um friend a survey in there, or it's the true thing. And because me, when I saw it, I kept asking myself, like, "Ah." How can this be true? Is this true? Maybe it's not true. Maybe it's just somebody saying something that they want to say. Oh, uh, but um, the English Premier League started on Friday. Every club has started on media day, what we call the media day, where they take pictures, they prepare, um, goal celebrations, on posting on social media accounts. So when they score their goals, especially for the Premier League, um, on the numbers, any other day, and everything seems to be going on. In the right direction, of course. OBN himself, apart from the Super Cup of your boy in the last few days, um, club and Honsem, a dead dream of Chelsea Football Club because Chelsea fans can feel it. Say, I cut just one or two more signings, and all of them will believe that their team is up there, should be able to compete. There's so many GBB, and so many a break it down low blocks, any other day. But still, there's a conversation in and around, especially in the UK. Any other countries that uh, go for don't necessarily feel confident, regardless, even if it was seen by the team name and now say Jean Felix do those who believe say he's a good player and can do better for the team by the team. People don't tend to believe say um anything substantial can be done from Chelsea Football Club. For me, I think I've said it several times that this season I'm not really going to waste too much time explaining what I think the Chelsea project is and as a what where I think Chelsea are going. But and then the question is up to you who is listening to me, who consistently listens to Fifi Manfred on YouTube. And now I'm a kind of as he said, we have done 17,000 subscribers. Well, I say it is a little less than a year. If you go back to my last video when I started actively putting up content over here, a little less than a year. And it is all thanks to you, I will share me. Indeed, so who subscribe to the channel, regardless of the team that you support, and that's just a content in the you're not the first to know. It's not fair to subscribe to the channel. No? Turn on notification, you know. So turn on notification, you know, you choose all. Who choose all of you, sir? The fact that you go the extra mile to share the link to will be up here. Will be on the map, oh yeah. Love of the game, only Ghana. But oh, Ghana, you get the content. 60% of those who watch are here in Ghana. Share the link to them. Only Ghana, Nibi or Zimbabwe, Zambia. You know a Nigerian who is um, a Chelsea fan, a Man United fan, a national fan. There is deep-seated analysis here on Fifi Man for the YouTube. And trust me, I'm confident enough to let you know that this is the best. It's the best, it's the most cognitive, most authoritative, um, most in-depth analysis that you get here um, on Fifi Man for So subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. But this one goes to you, the Chelsea fan, first of all. The Athletic uh, is reporting something very, very, very fun. The first thing that Athletic is reporting is that they want to ask everyone that um, there have been people that have come in and then have done um, a, a, a survey. The survey is about Chelsea Football Club and then what they can do next season. Uh, Premier League hope zero meter. The Premier League hope zero meter. As in said, the Premier League now on my boy and Premier League now on my board. Premier League now on my board this season. And the ever be called this season. Team and the fans, a a lot of hope. Any team and the fans, any hope? Me am going question here. Team and the fans, oh hope. Ah. Any team and the fans, any hope back to back to back to say. In the middle, no. um, so Oshie team, my friend, Nottingham Forest, ah, almost five percent hope, almost, um, almost yeah, ninety five percent optimistic, five percent pessimistic. It means that they are very confident going into the season. Just about five percent that are not confident going into the season. Arsenal, a ninety four percent optimistic. 6% of Arsenal fans are a little bit pessimistic. They are dragging their feet a little bit uh, with their team. Wolverhampton Wanderers, 93% are optimistic. 7% are not optimistic. Liverpool, 93% optimistic. 7% not optimistic. Crystal Palace, 93% optimistic. It comes down to Bournemouth. Newcastle, 89% optimistic. Ipswich Town, 89% optimistic. Teams where Nina are ahead of Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea, the least of the lot. Only 29% of Chelsea fans 
are optimistic of the season ever and 71 percent of chelsea fans are not optimistic they are pessimistic they are worried they have less hope they are not confident in the season that is coming if you are a chelsea fan are you confident of chelsea season ever or only chelsea or your arsenal are you really confident are you part of the 93 percent of arsenal fans that are confident and then seven percent that are all the seven percent are not confident if you're a chelsea fan are you part of the 29 percent that are confident or you are part of the 71 percent that are not confident going into the season and let me give you a little bit of a context crap before say you answer me and then there hasn't been too much changes on abrantia your friend jar felix any victor simon deals now a lot of the critiques on my pretty chelsea project you know, have said something for me my kind several times is there if you look at clear lake Todd Bali, Baghdad, Bali. Only a bad set of people. Now, when people say that they are clueless, I disagree with them. And it is simple. My reason here they be because I disagree with them. It is simple. One, these are equity investors. These are billion pound, billion dollar investors. They've invested fortunes in various industries and they've succeeded in them. It is a little bit funny, it's a little bit tough and difficult. Say, media to or I'll believe say these guys who have run businesses who have succeeded in in myriad industries in the business ecosystem, these guys who have saved alien businesses, these guys who have invested tons and dollars um, in businesses are stupid and they don't know what they are doing. I felt that in the Chelsea project, it's either you believe in it or you don't believe in it. It's either you believe in where it's going or you don't believe in it. And I agree, except for the average fan, you have issues with it. And I agree for every Chelsea, with every Chelsea fan who says, Fifi, eh, I don't really, I'm not really confident. And then now, I have a lot of friends who called me and say, Zephi, we are going into the season. I'm not confident. What do you have to say about Chelsea Football Club? Now, this is my little bit. I'm sure that for every fan who do not believe in the Chelsea project, the disbelief is because Chelsea probably especially in the transfer market, hasn't signed a big name. And, and Obi Abeka Chow say, say, we a football fan. That's a team is signing a big name. Our team is signing a um, player unim Bobo or your big name, or special goals as, as a centre forward, or your creative, or the goals ever. You believe, so, okay, this boy can turn it up. It's it. When their fans will be to say, Diego Costa, tell no about Chelsea. Chelsea fans were happy. When Eden Hazard was coming, Chelsea fans were happy. When those days, not Chelsea could find Goal of Conte, Chelsea fans were happy. They had a lot of hope because so many people say in Goal of Conte more and proving people they can deliver. Now, that's the thing. The difference maker now, and when Chelsea ain't shen any here, because if you, if you look at somebody like Obit say Moises Kaiseido, Kaiseido no free bites in Eban, no shen any big 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 a chance. So, so then you, you wonder if Chelsea really can have such a player like that. Say, okay, um. This guy can is he really a difference maker? When even Enzo Fernandez was coming, he had won the um the World Cup with Argentina. But really, what had Enzo done for himself? I think mean, taking the world by storm. It doesn't like when Man City were going to get to beat Ellen Brot Haaland, who walked into their team, scoring a lot of goals for Borussia Dortmund. I mean, a seemingly smaller team. It is the lack of difference difference makers that is making a lot of Chelsea fans worry. The first part of the question is that this index and maybe also strong. Where do you stand? Are you part of the 29% who are confident? Or are you part of the 71% who are not confident? Now, the other side of the coin, and they say, if Chelsea managed to buy Obi to say Victor Wissime, if you say Chelsea to Victor Wissime, Chelsea don't necessarily need Jao Felix. But let's say, I mean, in, 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 in an ideal world, not in the reality, so in an ideal world, Chelsea are to Victor Wissime, but Sansu and Benedi say, we are convincing, Oh, hey, man, there's a man. Jao Felix are reducing the wages. Uh, Victor Sime reducing the wages. And Chelsea buys Victor Sime. If these things do happen. Yesterday, I ran you through the qualities of Victor Sime. Somebody who, at first glance, and I, and I, I, and I know almost every Chelsea fan will tell you, say Chelsea, I can't wait to Chelsea told Victor Sime, almost every Chelsea fan automatically gets resolved. I mean, relaxed. Because Sime beats man are not less than 10 goals. Say Nicolas Jackson, man, had 14 goals for him last season. Say Kupama more half of the goals of the mall. Say Guku Bemo another half of Kupama goals on the mall. Now we are sparring goals from different uh different parts of the field of player. 
you are getting a lot, you are getting quality, you are getting a lot of goals. When your boys be brave, I will feel it. I will team. If Chelsea sign Victor Simen, not to sign Joao Felix, not say fancy go the centre back bar. Will you be part? Will, they, will you be part of the seventy one percent or you part of twenty nine percent? I want to hear from you in the comment section and add a reason. Make sure I will be part of this guy, okay, or I'm part of this, or I'm hopeful or not, and then just go away. I want to know what your reasons are. Where do you stand? Because to be very honest with you, it is the lack of difference makers. The owners plan and they said they want to buy players who are not different makers today. But only in said with time, they will be different makers. And when they become different makers, if they gel together, because they probably would have gone through the highs and lows of life in Tino. So I'm back together. They are going to be top quality players. They would have gone through a lot of differences together. And now they will be a close niche and they can compete and get success. The reason why if you ask Manchester United fans that they are confident and they say they are bringing in a certain Matthias Delet. Matthias Delet say on your dear crown, he's a quality player for the Ajax Amsterdam days. Oh, they are more. Juventus, yes, it didn't really work all over there because of Miss profile and then he had come to buy mission again. He was being dropped and he has come to Manchester United on a branch of friend Nazari. These are all players that have come in and these are no names for Chelsea players. No, their disbelief stands on the fact that these are not necessarily no names, they are not really the top tier names that you expect to get from them. And lots of the people are a little bit jittery, they don't really have the confidence. They're asking themselves, can this really work? This may not work. Any Sunday, money, money. But the Premier League is starting on Friday, and Chelsea won the first game on Sunday against Manchester City. And again, if you look at the list of fixtures, Abbasu, any who has a difficult set of games to begin the English Premier League season, you know that Chelsea's games are not going to be easy. Car, they are not going to be easy. And now Sky Italia has been reporting to us, said uh, Napoli director Coco Piemo England now. They are getting close to our green a few with a branch of friend Osime and Chelsea for Lukaku to go to the other side, for Osime to come to Chelsea, and for all of those things to be done. If Osime comes to Chelsea, do you get confident? Are you going to be confident? Are you going to believe that now Chelsea can turn things around? If a branch of friend Victor Osime, it's in need uh, Chelsea. And, uh, I mean, um, the real issues you know, in terms of the transfer uh, conversations now, there a lot of people. I've asked questions. A lot of clubs are in there asking a lot of questions. Today, a brand new friend, Michael Olis, did his first press conference. I will tell my friend, FC Bayer Mission. FC Bayer Mission. And in there, um, you realize that um, Michael Olis was in there. He was happy. He's happy to celebrate your team, my friend, FC Bayer Mission. Um, in a conversation of where Chelsea will finish in English, Shimali, you realize that almost every pundit that sets up to analyze Chelsea don't take into account the kind of English Chelsea had last season. If Chelsea really can stay fit, if Chelsea can break down the low blocks, if Chelsea can play well, if Chelsea can control games with Enzo Maresca, maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to do well. Of course, today is the media day, like I told you. Almost every club is going to do well. If you push me to the wall, now be saying, how is the Premier League going to be like? Uh, trust me, the first three spots are conk. First three are conk. One, I think that Arsenal, and I'm really not going to be happy because they're Chelsea fan. More about seven, Arsenal is going to win the league. I think that Arsenal have built a project very well. They have grown over time. They have invested in specific areas. Uh, they have been disappointed twice. I think that with the injury of Oscar Bob, the lack of real depth of Manchester City team, in, and I think that there's a possibility of a burnout on the Manchester City team. No? I really, really do not see how Arsenal bottles it again this time, especially if they do take the lead. Again, and slots the new manager that has come in. Um, it, it means that right now the two top managers in English Premier League are Pep Guardiola and then Annie Slot, uh, and then sorry, Mikel Arteta, because they are quality. I think Arsenal have a very, very good team. Uh, if you look at the back, the depth that they have from during team by Ricardo Calafiori. Um, William Saliba, Gabriel Magal is two of the two centre backs a pair that are quality in the in the goalposts, the depth of Aaron Ramsdale, and then of course um having my man also there, um um, um the Spanish goalkeeper that they brought in from David Raya from Brentford. You're on the right hand side, you have Ben White in there in front of them, Thomas Step Party, Declan Rice, all the guard. I mean Fabio Vieira, all of the quality that Arsenal have, of course, when you go up front as well. My issue is that Arsenal probably should have invested in a winger 
um, somebody that would give a lot of competition to um, Gabriel, Gabriel Martinez, Martinez um, instead of just the Leandro Trossard who can play on both sides. I think that um, if they had gotten someone like a Rafael Leao to their team or a Desert Duo, that would have been a huge thing for Arsenal. But then again, they couldn't get to their team down there. I think Man City, no matter what, will place either first or second. So after Arsenal, as Man City. Then in third place, I'm looking at um, not Liverpool. I think that in third place, for me, it is story I'm whispering. I mean, I don't want to... You can't you can't rule out the quality of of, of Ange Postecoglou and what he did last season. There were a few issues that he had to solve. He has brought in another attacker because um, Richarlison had a lot of issues. They've gone in for Dominique Solanke, um, who is very experienced in English. You know, Dominique Solanke from Chelsea to, to Liverpool, then Bournemouth. He had a very good season last season. I mean, the English League for Bournemouth in there for the Cherries you now. And he's going to be very important for Thoriam Mosper. So I think for one, Thoriam Mosper are going to be, I mean, a team that are going for the third spot. I, I have not seen enough of Liverpool to put them on third. I've seen a lot of people put Liverpool on third. I've seen a lot of people say, uh, Liverpool are good enough with what they've seen um, in preseason in there, but I have not seen enough to put Liverpool on third. Um, if you go to BBC, like this, most of their journalists, sports journalists, put Liverpool on third. A lot of the people put Liverpool on third, but I don't think so. I think that Thorium was at the very least, um, is going to be on third. I mean, Jermaine Backford is one of them that's giving me a prediction just like mine. Uh, at best, Liverpool will be hovering around the fourth, fifth there about with Manchester United and Chelsea. I've said it several times again to the Chelsea yeah. Um, right now as a city without Osime, without um a new centre back, Chelsea may be comfortable somewhere around the fourth and fifth area. Um, they'll fight for it. As to if they win it, they'll get a fourth position. It's going to be difficult. I think the person that's more likely to be fourth because they have a stable team, because they have a team that played together for a long time, may be that Liverpool team. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but the most certain um Spots for 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 the English Premier League next season is the top three, and in my opinion, is Arsenal, Man City, and Antonio Mosper. I think that they have been very good. I mean, people will will, will underestimate Antonio Mosper. Uh, people will not give them the respects that they deserve. Last season, Ange Postecoglou and the boys not played some very good football. They um, dictated a lot of games, they controlled games. They had they had a lot of issues at certain point in time with injuries, and in the high line that they were playing consistently. But Ange says. Um, he doesn't necessarily play like that and he wants to change a few things now apart from that now i think that Toriam is a very very good side i think that chelsea fit sit there about i mean i'm a little bit worried for manchester united fans because they're a little bit um overconfident and um, last season team would be eight <laughs> but it seems to be very confident with the same manager nothing really has changed they just brought in another um right back and they brought in a center back lenny Oro, and then they've added joshua zegzi who is his first season in english league. Nothing really changed with Rasmus Roland. But then again, um, it's a very good team. I think that they will fight with Chelsea for the fifth spot they're about. Um, so we we'll wait to see what really happens. It's about winning your games. It's about um it's a long season. What stands now? The question is to remain to your Chelsea yeah, or Manchester United, new Arsenal, new Ottoria Mospeni. Are you confident? I want to hear from you. Bye bye.